open the door, huh? Mm -hmm. Get to like cut it real quick. Yeah. Whoa, this is short. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. We are glad to be with you this Saturday. Yes. And the first day weekend of football. That's right. And that's <laughs> exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It feels a little bit normal. Yeah. It's really nice. A little return to normalcy. Yep. We can all use it, can't we? Oh, yes. And so we're hoping you're enjoying your Saturday and a little bit cooler weather. Morgan's not too happy with it being in the 90s today. But I was really enjoying those cooler temperatures this week. Mm, I guess you got a little spoiled there. It didn't take long. <laughs> they called it fake fall. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just happy that it's 10 degrees warmer, cooler than it was two, two, two weeks ago. Yes, that's true. And I'm very grateful. Yep. Once we get into September and we get a 90s, low 90s or, or 80s, I am thrilled. Yeah, Dad's thrilled when it's in the 80s in winter, mm -hmm. in January. And or we're 70s, all like, or uh, 70s even in the winter. I like that, too. I know. Nobody likes that. We want mm. the, what do you mean? We a want lot of people seasons. live here just because of that. Uh, you're spoiled because you've been here all your life, and you just <laughs> want to go see the world differently. Uh, well, I don't like the 110 degrees, that's for sure. So I am liking it in the 90s. Yeah. And so we're going to be talking today about home improvement and remodeling. And that's no surprise, but <laughs> the specific one we're going to talk about today, I don't think we've talked about before, and that is front entryways. And so we, we have a lot of projects we've done over the years, and we just started thinking about uh, All folks. All the different products. Yeah, folks may not. Last week it was curb appeal, right? Mm -hmm. Or no, what was it? No, it was uh, safe rooms and oh yeah, safe rooms and panic rooms. We're coming yeah. up. We're going to be doing... Uh, we're doing a curb, curb appeal, appeal soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is very closely related to curb appeal, mm -hmm. front entryways. But before we get into that, we always want to give you a safe remodeling tip of the week. So I was thinking because I was visiting clients and as I'm walking to their, from the front door to their work zone, I was noticing how beautifully our floor protection was. And it was just laid so perfectly, no rips in it. And so we use, it's called ram board right mm -hmm, it is and it's taped down to the floor so that way a lot of times our remodel is not right at the front of the house so we have to go through the house sometimes through the back door whatever door is closest but we have to go through some rooms to get to the remodel so we have to take materials through there we have to take you know people and so we put that very heavy duty floor protection we replace it whenever it gets worn and it keeps you from having to get other areas of your house remodeled before you were ready that's right so it keeps it all nice and and clean and safe and you don't have to worry about about your other floors getting damaged because we take pride in that it is it is uh very durable mm -hmm. and i'll just tell you how durable it is when we were doing ours i don't know if you saw it on the video if we did it um i think i have video of it and I'll share it with you. We've got to, we still got to compile compile this video of, of everything I did on on this room. Yeah, uh, well, you're not installing, finished yet. Installing the LBP. Well, we are finished. Yeah, we're finished with that. Oh, with that, that with those two rooms. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when I had the machine that that has wheels and is battery operated. That super heavy powered machine. Yeah, I was trying to walk, go across the ram board, mm -hmm. and trying to get into that wood and tear it up. It slipped on the ram board. The ram board um, was just taped down, of course, mm -hmm. and Alvin was standing on it, and it pulled the ram, and it moved him too. Out from it, because wow. it won't tear. It won't rip. Yeah. It won't tear. It moved him and everything. <laughs> oh, poor Alvin! <laughs> and it just like because those wheels were so strong, it pulled Alvin too. You know, he weighs a couple hundred pounds, yeah. and, and it still pulled him. He almost lost his balance. Yeah. Oh wow. So that was yeah, a, it's that really was strong. A, Never used that tool before, so yeah. that was uh, that was a new safety feature we'll have to have. <laughs> Don't spin the tires on the ram board. Yeah, it <laughs> will pull you. Yeah, I want to mention that we're taking your calls live at 737-1200. Anything to do with remodeling, 
or home improvements, we will be glad to discuss and live also here on, live the radio. on Facebook and Instagram, so you can ask us your questions there too. That's right. Morgan will check them during the breaks, and we will answer your questions live on Facebook and Instagram and at KM Dulwich. Mm -hmm. And so, we want to talk a little bit now about front entryways. So when you look at your home, if it looks a little boring, then you need to pay attention to this show, and we can help you. Um, uh, many, many folks have just really enjoyed driving up to their homes and seeing the new look after they had cam builders give them some ideas on entryways. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, we don't have a category just for entryways, do we? It's um, for our, outdoor living, so we have it combined with all of our outdoor projects. So any outdoor project could be, um, could be found under there, and many of them are entryways. So yeah. I know you're going to... I didn't write down the list of all the ones, but you'll help me remember them mm -hmm. during the break. Um, which one do you want to talk about that you like uh, as far as what we could do for someone here in the show? Well, I think the most recent one was really the most dramatic. The, this in one. Chavano? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, Chavano that was Park. Chavano? Right, that was in Chavano Park. So let's talk about that one a little bit and some of the features of what we did. First of all, it was a, it was a true entryway uh, enhancing a home that was a little, you know, older style, mm -hmm. but it didn't have a statement really on the front. When you look at the home, it had a, it had an entryway door that was recessed, mm -hmm. and it didn't kind of draw you into the front. And that's true of a lot of a lot of your homes. They just don't draw you in. They don't pull you to it. They don't get you excited about wow, this is the entrance. And in some homes, you can't even find the entrance very easily. Which I think was probably with that one. Yeah, because it had a side driveway. It's a very large home, very large lot mm -hmm. in Chavano. And you needed to see, where do I come in at? Now, yes. they have a wonderful cir circle driveway, but even then it was kind of like, where is it? Yes. It just wasn't prominent. And if you have a circle driveway, you want a prominent entrance. Mm -hmm. It should match that large driveway that you have. And this one does. Now, it pulled out different elements in the architecture. It seems like it's almost like a resort. Like it looked like La Pintera Spa On a, on a resort. smaller scale, right? Mm -hmm. Not quite that scale. The, <laughs> proportional to the home. Right. But it was that level of design that just gave you that wow factor for when you pulled up. Yeah, it's like timber frame, um, beautiful, beautiful cedar timbers and so forth that are in there and lighting. Uh, mm -hmm. several layers because the land you know the house steps up from the driveway so you've got different levels of, uh, of a, you should look it up and on, even the homeowner had said that her front she's like it's just so ugh, it's dull she said we have one of the larger homes in the neighborhood but you can't tell and she was that was her reason for doing the front she just wanted something to be excited about when she came home. And she is. Mm -hmm. And I, I just I just love some of the things she said at the beginning. She said, you know, my husband was the one that wanted to go with you, uh, but I was gonna have our guy that would have a lot of work here do it. <laughs> and after a while she said, she said, you know what? This was way more than we thought, than I thought. And he was right. This is something that he could not have done. And we we're so, you know, they're very glad that they had someone take care of all these details. She saw how many details are in the front entryway. Mm -hmm. Everything from the stone columns, uh, partial height, which by the way, I thought was really incredible. We have a nice video on this too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's already out. And where would they look? Um, and go to kmbuilders.com slash videos and then it should be in the outdoor section, I think. Yeah, in the outdoor section. So just look it up and you'll see it beautiful. Our latest videos, it's right yeah. there too. Uh -huh. So how many Exterior. down? How many down on the latest videos there? Um, it should just be three. So Oops. three down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. So this is the first type we're talking about—a kind of a patio cover entryway that looks like an entrance to, a, to a, maybe a little resort or a beautiful hotel you've been to. This is the entryway covered, preventing you from getting wet. And by the way, there was a good distance from the circle driveway to the home. And you would get wet, now you won't. Mm -hmm. Now you just pulled right up to it and All right. run up. So we're going to take a break, but I want to mention my friends at Florida Bernie. I'll be going there in about a week to have their concierge service with Peyton Severino. You, don't, you get a hold of Peyton when you're there to ask for that concierge service. And they're at Bernie, IH10 Bernie, right there on the side. Um, 
and look them up at FordandBernie.com for more details or call 210-920-3023-920-3023. My friend, FordandBernie.com. We'll be right back to the Cave Builders Remodeling and Design Show. If you're curious. Like my fries. I'm hungry. I didn't eat anything for lunch. Mm. So we also have the Mohan. Mm. Mohan. Mm -hmm. The Weiss. Let me see that one. Okay, good. We'll talk about. Why snacks? How about that one? Okay. No, let's do Mohan because it's kind of closely related. It's very similar. Yeah. <laughs> Drink. And then also, I was thinking the B. Mm -hmm. Does that count? Oh, definitely. Those are the ones. I don't think the Taylor counts. Well, I do have doors. Okay, then that one counts. Talk mm -hmm. about that one as the doors. Mm -hmm. Because all of the door just changed. Like, and then the, um, the slats here. What is that? Well, I think we could mention when you talk about the slats, like, it, it makes it more inviting. It's not like what's hiding behind that wall. <laughs> if you're walking It's hard to it. describe that situation for some people don't have it. Yeah. We don't want to spend too much time on that. True. Yeah, so we, you do your floor, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we have two in the bank now, so. So I'm going to stay working on the down on Saturday. Yeah, I figured. I thought you were doing it this week, but mom said y'all decided not. Because Lexus got a new job. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. Working at Caravan and Shaw. What's that? Lawyer firm. Oh. He wasn't planning to go into that field, but. Yeah. Wouldn't get any of the other things she was looking at, and they, they liked her a lot. That's good. So she's excited, but nervous. Oh, yeah. But I'm glad she's going to be using her paralegal skills. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Brian said, keep chasing. Brian said, keep shaved. <laughs> Brian? Yeah. Hi, Brian. Well, welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And thank you all for watching on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, Brian, I did shave my mustache. You did notice. <laughs> Thanks for We're noticing. We're all very happy about that. Some, some, most of the guys liked it more than the girls did, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> duh. I had lots of compliments from men on it. Yeah, so. only men appreciate mustaches. Yeah. Unless you're, who's that guy, um, Magnum P.I. guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was a little old for Magnum P.I. In his, in his great days. Yeah. Tom you're Selleck. Not, you're not Tom Selleck, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we want to mention my friends at 
Expel. They do window film for cars, for auto protective film, which I have on my truck and our Lexus and will soon be on the Hellcat. Mm -hmm. and, and that's just a great product. But that same great product can be available for your home windows to stop the solar heat gain. If you do not want to replace your windows, this is a great alternative. And it can also give you burglary protection. Burglary? Burglary protection. <laughs> and even on brand new windows, you may want to install this because yeah. because it, it resists break-ins. So check them out at expel.com. And just search in the San Antonio location. Mm -hmm. Or call Eric. He's the expert on those windows, by the way. Mm -hmm. At 430-7712-210-430-7712. And so we're talking about front entryways, but Morgan's reminding we have a client testimonial. Yes. So I went to our current clients. Um, I do a midpoint visit, and I, it was they heard us on the radio a lot, and so when they came, they knew exactly who I was when I walked up. And I had seen in the notes that they had put when they first called us that they had had someone else remodel their kitchen, and now they have to live in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They actually said that in writing. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought that was so funny. And so I was talking to them about it. And, and they said that the reason that they went with us this time was because they could tell how much we were for the client and what all the things that we did and do as the remodel is on that is part of the client experience. And so they said, just me coming and that dad sent me to go visit them. They said, this is just above and beyond. They were so impressed and they just... They said, you know what, we're going to, they had recommended us to what their coworker. They said, we're going to call them again and say, we double recommend you now. Yeah, <laughs> and they're nice. just really happy they're in phase two. They did their upstairs first, and now we're about to start the downstairs. So this could be a very not happy point, but they were very happy, which is really great to hear. That is awesome. Thank you for yeah. that, Morgan. <clears throat> and so let's talk a little bit about front entryways now. We mentioned one that's more like patio cover. Um, that you would see more like an entrance to a resort or a home that stands off and brings you in from the parking area or the, the drive-in quarter mm -hmm. cachet and, and transfers you into the home. Yes. Now, well, since we're on that subject, I want to mention that this one does not go over the, the circle driveway. Yes, it's but not we, a carport. It's not a carport type. quarter cachet. A quarter cachet gets you from the car to the home. And it's not a parking area per se for permanent parking. Mm -hmm. It's usually a drive-through, mm -hmm. and the porta cachet is, is just a beautiful, beautiful additional way to enhance a front entryway. And well, I don't think we have one on our website, although we've done them. Uh, that was before you started getting the professional photos, and so we we would love to design that for you also. And if you really want to enhance and That's make your like home a real look, resort, oh, it's just beautiful to have <clears throat> have it come over your circle driveway or your driveway and bring you into the home. And so that these are not only functional but and not only beautiful, but they actually make the home look larger. Oh, and, sure. and they can change the proportion of the home to where it really starts giving a feature that you never had on your home. Um, you may like your home or you may be okay with the front design. It may not be thrilling to you. This is a way to change that mm -hmm. and create new inspiration, new objects, uh, point of interest, in, in including you know down lighting and so forth. Um, safety is a big factor in entryways, front mm -hmm. entryways, and you can go out and grab that paper or that uh, protected your Amazon deliveries from from the rain. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of nice things you can do. And in addition to you know you can cover cars. We we did one in and, I, and I, we need to go back and get photos of it. We did a much more mid-century modern looking one that really went well with the home. And it was in the um, I-10, 410. Is that the one with the green door? No, oh. I don't remember that one, <laughs> but you'll have to remind me. But on the I-10, 410 area, that, that mid-century uh, neighborhood mm -hmm. that is very, very popular. They were thinking about making it historic. Oh, cool. And, and I just don't remember the name of the neighborhood. I apologize, but all, <laughs> all of you who know that area, 410, I-10 outside, 410 is a cool mid-century modern neighborhood and we did a beautiful portraiture there where it was flat almost a flat roof mm -hmm. and it blends in beautifully to that home oh cool 
Yeah, so thinking, we gotta go get we gotta go get them. The photos of them. Okay. No, I was also thinking how you said that these make the home almost look bigger and feel bigger. Our new Braunfels job that really did that. The patio that we the front patio it, it stayed the same size, but we created a double door to the home. Um, oh yeah, show me those photos. It's right here. Okay. And um, then we also, they just had these little skinny beams coming down. Columns were Columns, very small. Yes, and so we just made them kind of tapered at the bottom. Now the home is proportional to the grand scale of the home. That's right. The home is big, but the entryway was puny. <laughs> well, it was, it was the same size, really. No, no, I mean, the it had no depth to it. Yes, and now the it has, features were puny. Yeah, so now it has a, a, a beautiful... Uh, truss type beam, mm -hmm. beam work on it. Mm -hmm. It has, like you said, larger columns coming down on top of stone stone bases. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what a difference, right? Yeah, just beautiful, right? yes, it totally changed. And then the front door, you see how it was just one tiny door, yeah. and now it's the two doors with Double the glass doors, work on top. With a transom window above, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that is just And when I, walk, when I went into their house, I, for, I knew we had done the columns. But I had forgotten about the door. And I said, did we do anything here? And they're like, you forget because it looks like this is how it should have always been. And they said, everybody, they know something's different, but they can't put their finger on it because the other way was just so unnatural to the size of their, even the inside foyer. So this just, it, they said, this is how it should have always been. We've always known it. It made such a difference. Yeah, and, and on our website there, and uh, it's under Mulholland, and mm -hmm. they won't mind us saying it. Yeah. Um, but they, they really have a, a beautiful entryway. It also shows the transformation on the outside we did to the garage doors. Yes. It's technically not a front entrance, but it is an entrance where we turn two side entrance doors into one. Right. So they could swing in safely. Mm -hmm. and give them all that extra room. And we've done that a lot. And so if you'd like an exterior modification, you can call us at 680 5626. And after the break, we're going to take calls here at 737-1200. If you have any questions about remodeling, that number is 737-1200. And we'll be taking your calls live all for the rest of the show. And so we, we uh, are glad to be able to go out and look at your projects, give you some ideas. And that's typically, I am the one doing that by myself. Very seldom does anyone ever take that spot unless some, there's an emergency <laughs> where I couldn't make it and we don't want to let you down. But Bob... Bob Earl, who works with us and uh, we're privileged to have in our team, he's also very, very good and can do that as well. He's and the he, backup, but he's he a pretty backup. darn good backup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can't say anything um, like lesser yeah. there and or, or that I'm better than him, but I'm going to do it anyway, even if I'm not better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. Because I enjoy it so much and very, very happy to be able to look at your project, your entryway, anything in remodeling, and give you some really cool ideas. And Dad will go out and he'll be able to give the initial ideas, but he always sells our team because our team will give the, the that final. final extra detailed design ideas that even Dad with his years of experience, you know, they come up with some great stuff. Oh yeah, and so we start that process whenever we, we talk to you, when I meet you, and it's mm -hmm. completed by our usually a four-person design team when if it's if it's interior remodeling. Exterior remodeling, it's three-person design team with an architectural designer on it as well. We have interior designers for the interior part, and we also have a cabinet designer for the interior part. So it's, it's a really thorough process. Mm -hmm. We've designed a process that you will thoroughly enjoy. Uh, like we say, we've designed the experience so you can experience the design of all of this. So before we go to the break, I want to mention my friend who has a tremendous amount of experience in lifting trucks and doing fun things to trucks or Jeeps. Call him at 655-0184. I'm talking about Maximum Altitude. MaximumAltitude.com. Call Joey at 655-0184. He'll do to you what he did to me. And we're going to be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. This is News Rate.
is so cold, my shoulders hurt. It's like gotta be 65 degrees in here. You're not cold? No. Man. I mean, it's chilly. I mean, it's cool. But not as bad as yours. <laughs> no, you're so crazy. Mm -mm. Dad, my house is not this cold. My house is this cold at 3 o'clock in the morning cold when enough. it finally gets this cold. Ooh. Not the last couple of times I've been in your house. No. That's because you came directly from outside, so it has a oh. chill factor. I'm telling you, this has got to be 65 degrees. It is cold. Oh, it hurts my shoulders. For those people in Greece, they were having to sit next to the coast because of the fire. seconds to burn to get the house on fire and, you know, within two minutes it's it's done. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for all those people. Try, but then You're traffic, always late. traffic was so bad where I was at. I don't know why I was, you I was don't know why you plant. go. Oh, really? I don't know why you go 281. I only do it if it shows it's the fastest way, and usually it's right. Mm -hmm. It's getting open more and more. I'm not going to. Fully. 
Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. We're glad to be with you, and we are taking your calls live at 737-1200, 1-800-383-WOAI, or again, local number 737-1200 if you have a question about remodeling. And I always appreciate the ones who said they'd listen to us on their way to wherever. <laughs> and or even at home. And it was why they called us. And so thank you all, all for listening. And we hope that we keep it entertaining and interesting and informative to you. Uh, Morgan, talk about our sponsor right now that we're using on our on your home and on our jobs and our, on Anna and Pa's house. Mm -hmm. We use the maids, and they do such a fabulous job. They use hospital grade disinfectants, so you don't have to worry about any uh, germs traveling. They disinfect their tools. They are so kind on time. Um, very quick, but very thorough because they come with a three to four person team and they just do a great job. You can give them a call at 210-822-2526 or look them up at maids.com slash 211 and let them know that KM Builders sent you because we love working with them. Thank you, Morgan. And we are talking about front entryways right now. We've talked a little bit about the ones that are like patio that come out an extension of the roof system. You know, or an accident to that roof system that is actually protective and makes the roof the, the home look a little larger mm -hmm. and uh, accents it. You can have columns, you can have stone on the base of those columns. You know, just so many different designs. You see it on a lot of homes, on the higher end homes that are built by builders, but maybe your home doesn't have it and you'd like to change the look of your front entryway. This is a great opportunity it's not an extremely uh, expensive project, but it can make a huge difference. Um, the perceived value on entryways is usually greater than the cost because it makes the home look like a different home. Mm -hmm. Not only will you be thrilled with it, if you ever need to sell it, it will be easier to sell because it is done very custom, very beautiful, and makes takes and accents the part of the home that you want to accent. It also makes it a lot safer. You get better viewing at night, uh, better lighting. And that's one of the things that you can do with a, with a front entryway that very few other projects will do. And that is look more beautiful at night. A lot of things you do on a home just doesn't show at night in case, unless you just illuminate that little part. But a front entryway is almost always gonna have beautiful lighting concealed and it's going to just draw you in instead of you stumbling over a walkway or pathways that, that are not very visible. Those little pathway lightings can be beautiful, but you can do it all with a, with a beautiful entryway, a newly designed entryway in your home. So I highly suggest that you meet with one of, with us, a uh, consultation where you call us and we, I go out and meet you and show you kind of some ideas of what could be done. And then we get that design team to really, really do a great job of it. Just like I met today with a with a client before the show, and it had been a follow-up where we we're going to build them an extension on their back patio. And then I brought a follow-up consultation for outdoor living area, um, for basically for cooking and fireplace. Mm -hmm. So we have a special consultant that we bring in on fireplaces and outdoor cooking areas, cooking outdoor kitchens. Mm -hmm. So we bring a whole team to work for you, if you even if it's an entryway. It could be, um, like we said, an extension of the roof. It could be a deck, it could be a pergola, it could be a walkway, you could change your doors, your windows, or all of the above. Mm -hmm. And so we, we wanna talk about a few of those. Again, a portage shear is one that you drive through and get out on and unload and walk into the home, and that's just wonderful because it does two things. It can protect the cars and the hail and the wind and the storms, keep your cars cleaner. It kinda has the effect of being a, a, a carport Mm -hmm. But it looks like an extension of the home from the front that beautifully lit, adds safety and beauty to your home. And then it takes you right into the front entryway without ever getting wet or risking the storm. So that is another one of our favorite projects. I want to mention another one that's similar to a covered walkway, but it's a pergola. And we've done some pergolas that are lower or, or higher, but they're flat and they're shaded they produce shade. So they, they have the shade boards on them. They can give a, a nice wood accent. They can have base stone-based columns. 
and they can really, really look um, stunning on a home and give that natural look to a home. Maybe something that's missing, maybe an accent that you were wanting to create, but a pergola can actually add shade to that entryway. Now, some people's homes are really designed to sit out on the front porch, on the front, and look, look out and enjoy the views. But if you happen to be facing west or south, you're gonna you're gonna have that harsh sun mm -hmm. in the evening. So a pergola can be a beautiful entry. I know I helped a neighbor do one recently. It's not an expensive home, but man, it made it nice. And his wife is so happy because they like to sit out on the front, yeah, and and you know just look out and just and see things in the neighborhood. You may you may like to get out there with your coffee, or maybe you smoke and you you want a place to smoke, but. It, a lot of where you're going to be in the morning or the evening has to do with how much sun you're going to, to yeah, be, that's to be getting. Yeah, side you're choosing. Mm -hmm. And so if you're picking an area that has sun and you, you like that look, you like that view better, well, you can block that sun with a pergola. Mm -hmm. And so you may not be an expensive project, but it can make a big difference in how often you use it. Mm -hmm. Another thing is in this particular case, what I was referring to with the neighbor, it also kept a lot of the sun off the front door. Ooh, that's good. So heat. So inside. Yeah, so the inside heat of that first entryway was a lot cooler now. It had, the temperature had dropped in the summer because of the shade. Mm -hmm. So something so simple can make such a difference in not only the outside, but even an indoor room. And of course, any type of roof structure that you add on is going to do the same thing. Yep. And just like you said about like some people enjoy sitting on the front, um, you want that area to be comfortable, large enough. We've made decks, actual like that could be an outdoor living setting in the front. That's and exactly it's not right. And it's to be forgotten about. That's right. The deck we just built at Braun Station, a Braun you know, part of well, right next to Braun Station. I don't remember the name of it. Hidden. In the woods, what's it called? Uh, village in the woods area. There, it's it's a really gorgeous entryway we made there. Mm -hmm. So it it's changed got a, the front door and then also the doors to the dining room. Well, there were windows there before. Oh yeah. And so we made an entryway to an adjacent dining room mm -hmm. and a deck and handrails and a stairway, all that just completely transformed the front of this home. Oh yeah. So with you can look lighting, up that one online and outdoor living. It's the bee patio. The bee patio, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so check that one out. What a before and after on that. Yeah. And so you can use a deck on the front. Yep. And we've done others too besides that one. I don't think we have any photos of others without with a deck in the front. But a deck can be, of course, many things. And we're talking when we say deck, we're talking about wood. Uh, synthetic or composite mm -hmm. or wood, and it's slats. Mm -hmm. And so in this particular case, it was really should have been that way because it's so high off the ground oh yeah so if you've got an entryway that's real high off the ground all of the room next to it might not be usable unless you build a deck next to it and then it all becomes part of that front view mm -hmm. so that is real estate that you might want to take advantage of and we can do it at km builders so give us a call at 680-5626 and schedule your appointment or go online virtually and i can do a virtual consultation with you and just go to the website and you'll see how to do that but before we go to our break, I want to mention elite, elite lighting. lighting and designs. You really like them. <laughs> you really like what they've They're done. They're beautiful. Your house looks totally changed. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the other projects that can change your look at night of your home. Mm -hmm. Very few projects, but this is one of them. Call them at 573-0594. Scott is a great owner, very involved in every project, and the satisfaction of his clients, just like I am, at EliteLightingDesigns.com. It's worth it. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. As more time at home led to less intimacy with your loved one, why are you avoiding it? Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. 90% of erectile dysfunction... Mom loves today's topic, she said. Vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow, which is critical in achieving an erection. This can be fixed naturally with peak performance. Um... Hi, babe. Can we also talk about the the Weiss Pout, an entryway you don't want, if you have a handicapped person, you don't mm -hmm. want it to be obvious, and that's a flaw. Mm -hmm. And you know, I never realized it until now, 
but they did not have that sitting area there. <laughs> they didn't have this part mm -hmm. there before. You know, it's like it should have always was always there. I didn't even notice it until just now. Oh, my shoulders hurt. <sighs> Then you can appreciate the 90 degree weather. Oh, the when warm, I walk out, yes, on thaw. It is ridiculously cold in here. Somebody must have been really, really warm. This isn't so cold. Well, it's not metal. I know, but if it was really cold in here, it'd be, this would be cold. Mm. Whatever. I could sleep good in here, though. Yeah, I could, if I had a blanket. about it when you said protect your car from hail and I was like yeah or when you're walking from your car running from the hail you won't get hit by hail <laughs> you're always jumping in the lake it looks so weird I've never seen hail in the lake I still want to see some hail like that see what it does someday I want to see it action that size I don't want to be in the car in it I want to just see it from a and something that's really, really strong. It would be interesting to witness the damage being done by large, large hailstones. Well, how big Look at that windshield, were? broken. You see it? Yep. Look. See it? Mm -hmm. How big do you think those were? Oh, I couldn't tell. Why do you need your windshield wipers on? You're just going to get busted by the hail. And it's just going to spread the glass. Maybe they're hoping that the hell will hit it instead of the windshield. I wonder if it's going to go through. I don't even know what to do. I would get underneath the car. Wow, knocking the tree limbs out. Man, that's a lot of limbs coming down, huh? That's good size. Yeah, that's good size. That's what hit my car. Mm -hmm. Probably what hit my back too when I was running from it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where was that at the rim? Yeah, Target. Good thing I moved my car too because my windshield would have been shattered and it probably would have totaled the car. All the cars that were at that parking lot got totaled. The um, or the windshields got busted out. The news crew came. Welcome back to the KM Builders Ramonica Design Show, and we are taking your calls live at 737-1200 if you'd like to give us a call. Again, that number is 737-1200. And, and we we're are also live on Facebook and Instagram, so you can message us there as well. Right, and since we have such beautiful weather and you still have a little bit of the growing season left, I want to mention that you should call my friend Joe Caccino at BioGreen because right now is the time to get those nutrients into the roots, into the fall, so that when the spring comes, which is the major growing season, you'll have all that energy already stored. If not, if you haven't treated it right before the fall, then what happens is the spring, you have to treat it, 
it absorbs all the all the energy that it needed from the from the nutrients you give it and then it'll start growing but you're going to miss out on a large portion of the growing season if you don't do it right now in the fall call them at 210-421-9522 421-9522 or look them up at biogreensa.com so we're talking about front entry ways mm -hmm. and you wanted to talk about which one next you said oh i know <laughs> the weiss yeah the one where we did a stone walkway um that was just a sidewalk before mm -hmm. and what's what's interesting about that one i think we both appreciate is that you can't tell that there was a disability uh, that was needing to be accommodated for in the household yeah when i went to take pictures the homeowner was there and i was asking him you know why they did the this project and he said well we it's a ramp and i was like what and i didn't even notice that it was a ramp uh -huh. because it is so beautiful and gradual it doesn't look like a ramp you would never know that someone lived there that needed to be in a wheelchair i'd love to see your reactions when you go to these projects <laughs> Cause I get, cause I'm I'm a little immune to it, cause I just you know know it's supposed to be that way, and then it was done right, and hey, it's that's the way it's supposed to be. Yep, it's it's beautiful because the zero threshold is all the way from the driveway up to the front door, uh -huh. and it's real gradual, so you don't see that it that it's rising. Mm -hmm. And then then we added a little nice front porch area to sit mm -hmm. on and enjoy mm -hmm. the the beautiful views, and it really enhanced the look of that home. Oh yes, and and this client, they weren't going to be living there for much longer, but they knew that this would only help sell the house right. because they needed it to be done correctly, and they wanted their son to be able to get in and out easier while they were living there. I think we went around the side with that one too, around the side of the home also, to get back to the, uh, the side. So that's another thing you can do. You can combine your front entryway with maybe a corridor that leads you to the side, so front so you entryways, can pull your trash cans out nicely. That's right. Yeah. So you want to get out from the front door, maybe to go to the side. You can inc include that along, incorporate that into your front entryway design project, mm -hmm. which we've done at my house as well. And, and that is just worth it. Every time you go to the front driveway and you've got an entryway that leads you to it nicely, um, or something you're proud of that doesn't look dingy, dingy or dirty or cracked. You get your front entryway and your your corridor, your pathway, mm -hmm. all at the same time. It's a it's a much better deal too, by the way, to include those other areas in it while you're doing it. And finally, I want to just mention that doors and windows to the in, the front door and the entryways are part of entryways. They're part of making that front look beautiful. So whether you're putting a pergola over it or an actual porch covered porch maybe some columns to support that roof you you can really you should really think about what do you want on that front door do you want more glass do you want more light do you want bigger doors bigger windows higher doors you know taller with a window above it all of those things can be done in the front entry project and boy did we do that for our friends the taylors oh yeah Man, that what door a is proportional it is stylish it is huge it is hard to open <laughs> No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's hard for me because I'm worried about. Well, once you breaking. get it started, it's a huge. It's like a five foot door. Yeah. It's a five foot wide door that is just on a pivot hinge. Oh, it's the coolest door and I've ever seen. And it is a wrought iron. I mean, an iron door mm -hmm. with beautiful contemporary glass and just a gorgeous look. It's one of my favorites. And entryways are so important because that is what people are going to take in first when they come into your home. Your guests, everything. That just sets the tone for your home. And you walk in through that front door and it's a, either a wow or a, oh, I'm surprised this is what's in this house because your entry was so ugly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so yeah. you don't, you want it to be inviting and to be a preview of what the inside of your home looks right. like. If you just want to, you know, just let people know that you have a, uh, you want them to think you have an ugly home by your entryway, just leave it the way it is. <laughs> And, no. and they'll be surprised when they walk in. But if you'd rather tie it in and make it all beautiful and have that tremendous resale, then give us a call at KM Builders. We can help you with your entryways, your patios, of course, all of your remodeling, room additions, even custom homes. We are proud builders of custom homes at kmbuilders.com. 
At KM Builders, we have designed the experience, not just the product you're calling us for, but the whole remodeling experience so you can experience the design. We look forward to you giving us a call at 680-KM-CO, 680-KM-CO, or look us up, kmbuilders.com. Thank you for joining this weekend on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. The preceding show was KM.